Hi friends, in this part 11 of the tutorial series, we will be looking how we can delete the post from the database. And in order to do that, we need to import a, sm a small npm package so that we can use the other verbs in HTTP like delete, put, patch, etc. By default, it will only look for the get and post. Okay, so the package name is method override. I already have it installed in my system, so I can simply import it and name it method override. So method hyphen override is the package name. You can import it using npm install. Okay. So once that is imported, I'll go down here to my view engine section and put a comment method override middleware. And I'll uh, run the app use method here to use my method override and you have to put a name of the method that you want to use here so you can you can put anything you want that will be used in the actual uh, query string so i'll put a name method or let's say new method okay save it and right now refresh we don't have any delete button here and we only have a couple of posts let's create a new post first so fourth post public allow comment this is the fourth post to test the delete delete I could spell functionality okay. Okay. so it say you see this alert message here that automatically disappears I am doing it with the help of jQuery I'll show that it's a small piece of code but right now we want to have a delete button. So to, to create a delete button, I'll use the form tags, okay? And this should send the request to post delete with the ID in the parameters. And we will use our new method here that we just defined using the method override middleware and set it to the delete keyword because by default uh, the form uh, has a method post here so we, we don't want to post it we want to use a delete method instead so I'm using the same name that I defined in my app.js uh, file okay now inside the form tag I need a button we'll say delete post and I'll give a couple of classes to make it look red and the type will be submit okay now I'm using a class here that says deflect it's a bootstrap class that uh, displays the uh, displays in flex flex box basically okay, so both the buttons will be in line and I am using a class here that is mr2 that say that is for margin right two this again a bootstrap helper class if I save the changes here and go back to my browser refresh it you'll see a delete button here and if you click this button nothing happens as if now because it's not able to uh, delete because it's looking for this delete endpoint okay go back we'll work on the admin routes first we'll create a route router dot route and it will be post dot delete with an ID and we need to define the delete uh, keyword here I mean use a delete function here okay right now I don't have anything to use inside this function we have to go to the admin controller create a new method delete post and this will again have a request a response and mongoose gives us a pretty neat method of deleting and finding a post simultaneously so we will use a post model here and I'll use a method known as find by ID and delete you see this is here so we, we have the ID in our params object and I'll then use the then method to uh, call the promise and here I will have deleted post so return the deleted post here so what I want once it is deleted I want a flash message a success message 
then I'll say I'll use back text the post with the title deleted post or title has been deleted okay and then I want to redirect the user to the URL admin posts and that that is it okay that's it I, I'm not handling the any error uh, scenarios here but you can of course use the cat statement and handle the errors so now we have to use this method inside our admin routes so admin controller dot delete post without the parenthesis and we should be good so if you go back to the browser and hit the delete button on this fourth post it should get deleted and we should see a message here okay let's see boom it's gone and the message is also gone okay so the code for hiding this alert message is in the uh, footer I believe yeah and also I'm using this auto hide class here this is a custom class that is not used for any designing purposes it just used to target this div okay in my footer so with the set timeout function I'm calling this slide up method on this auto hide selector or the div with this auto hide class and this entire thing will get executed after one second so if I increase it to two seconds so that you can have a look at the mechanism and refresh the page delete this post this after two seconds this will be removed automatically it's pretty neat and a uh, small piece of code but it's really helpful otherwise you can always click on the cross icon there and close that alert message if you want all right so with this we are done with deleting a post in the next section or next part rather we will be creating categories so i simply renamed the link which is present here and named it category it doesn't do anything at this moment so next in the next chapter we'll see how we can create a route for categories and display a list of categories with a form to create a new category okay till then uh, please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video if you have anything uh, to, to suggest you're more than welcome okay till then have a good day bye bye